my, this is Ben Llewellyn, and today I've got for you a Welsh lesson. The Welsh language. Gwersen y Gymraeg. A lesson in Welsh. Directions. Like, on the compass. North, south, east, west. So, let's start with the word direction, because that tells a lot, actually, and how you use it. Cyfariad. Cyfariad. The A-D ending tells you that it's a thing. Cyfariad comes from cyfair, an older word meaning direction and place before oneself, which also gave the word cyfairben, opposite. So to cyfairio, the verb, means to indicate, to show what is opposite oneself. Direction in Welsh is that which is opposite you. Cyfario. Cyfario. And then, if you're directing someone to something, you add at, which is... There's two words for to in Welsh. E, which is also the letter E dot, and at. E is very inspecific, and it's used far too much. It's used too literally and very much. It's used to copy English patterns a lot in grammar. But at is used specifically for specifics, usually. But it's also attaching onto verbs, not directly, but after them. Like cyfario at, to direct at. So an example sentence. Wutin ga hyung hverioi at a toilet. Can you direct me to the toilet? Dioch. Thank you. A lot of verbs in Welsh require that you know the preposition that attaches or goes with it. Like amino to join, amino a to join with. But back to directions. Kvariata. Directions is the plural. So, what are the four kvariata? A pedwar kvariad. Because after numbers, you don't have a plural in Welsh. Not usually. There's exceptions, but see other videos on that. A pedwar kvariad. Gogledd. North. De. South. Duirain. East. Gorllewin. And each of these have words within them, or their construction at least, tells us things about the Welsh language which are interesting. So let's start with a gogledd, the north. This word can be broken down into two things. Go, which is an intensifier, and cledd, which is a sword, basically. Cleddiv is the word for sword today. Anyway, gogledd, meaning over your sword carrying hip on your left side, traditionally. Why is this the case? Because in Celtic cultures across the board earlier on, they faced east and that was the direction at the top of the map, not north. So they faced the dawn and the north was on your left side, gogledd, over your sword, literally. So the east itself, duirain. Now, this has a bit more vague meanings and we have to rely on earlier poetry. Duire means to rise up, sometimes to exalt someone, and that in means that it's a thing. It's making it into a, a noun. So like Darwin, oaken, made of oak, comes from Daru, oak. Duirain, Duirain. And the West, Gorllewin. So go is an intensifier for things that are near you or right around you or abstract. But gor, over, more, more than, well, in antiquity, more than, but now it's like over, yonder, gore well. The horizon comes from, it's an invented word by Yolo Morganu, but 
Gorwald, overseeing the Gorwald, the horizon. Gorshewen, over the brightness. Llewerch means luminous, luster in Welsh today. We think this is what it means. I'm thinking it's kind of like lle is the old word for light. Gola, light, comes from intensified light, became the word for light. Gorllewin, over the brightness, beyond the brightness. I'm guessing like the Western Sea, it, re it retains brightness as the sun is going down with the I-N ending, making it a thing. Hmm? And then de. This is interesting because you need to know differentiations with this word. So de comes from dehe, which just means south. But remember what I said about left and right. De means right, because to the south in the old Celtic, way of viewing the world would have been on the right hand. Dehe wind, southerly wind. But back to that de and de, south and <laughs> right, south and right. These are different genders grammatically. And you need to know this. De, south, is masculine. So a de, the south, and right is feminine. A there, the right. So that's important. Or there, from the right. Or de, from the south. Chwith is left. De is right. Ir chwith. Sometimes we mean that in terms of, it's a bit awkward, it doesn't function right. It's gone a bit left. Left-wing nutters. But irachwith, it's kind of gone a bit tits up and doesn't work properly. Urachwith as well. Those two kind of interchange with themselves, depending on which dialect of Welsh you speak. I think I've heard urachwith more in the north, maybe? Let me know if you know down in the comments. So in English you have northwest, southwest, southeast, northeast, etc. This is going to cause a mutation to the beginning of the second word. De Orchewin. Southwest. The G drops off. Gogled Duiran. North East. You see that mutation there? Well, Gobethio, I hope that was informative for those of you learning Welsh or those just curious about the language. Thanks for watching. Cheers to my Patreons. Diolch.